everyone. Today we're making mozzarella sticks and we're gonna be cooking these in some avocado oil, which is heart healthy. And we're gonna be seasoning them up with some Italian seasonings and some garlic powder. And then I'll serve them up with some sort of marinara sauce. Use any one you like. This is just so delicious and easy to make. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make them right after my chef joke. What do you call it when mozzarella, Parmesan and cheddar rent a little beach house together. Cottage cheese. So let's go over our ingredients. So I'm gonna be using some avocado oil to keep it as heart healthy as possible. I'm frying my mozzarella sticks in a cast iron pan, it's about eight inches, and I'm gonna place the avocado oil in there and get the temperature up to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And breadcrumbs, I'm using gluten-free Aliyahs here, and they're Italian, so they have Italian seasonings in them. But if you don't have any Italian seasoning in your breadcrumbs, you can always add some. I have my own. I have a recipe for you. You can click the link down in the description, and you can learn how to make your own. I even like to add a little of my own Italian seasoning to the Aliyahs. We want to season each layer, so I'm going to add a little bit of salt to my breadcrumbs here. I'm gonna to toss this a little bit and then add my garlic powder. Garlic makes everything taste better. And then of course we wanna mix all of this together so it's evenly dispersed. Next we'll need a little flour. I'm using Bob's Red Mill one to one here. And to that we'll be adding some cornstarch and then you'll mix that up. And what the cornstarch does is just makes for a nicer crust. And who doesn't like a nice crunchy crust? And for our cheese, I'm using whole milk mozzarella here. All I'm gonna do here is cut the mozzarella into sticks about a half an inch thick. In a shallow bowl, I'm gonna add one egg and a little bit of milk. I'll blend that up and it will be ready to go. It's time to coat those cheese sticks. You can see my three stations here, starting with the flour. You wanna coat that cheese, just rub it all over with your fingers, make sure that it's all coated with the flour, which is gonna help the egg to stick to it. So we drop it in the egg mixture, turn it over until it's fully coated, and then we're gonna transfer that over to the breadcrumbs. Now with the breadcrumbs, I like to spoon it over. It just seems to make it easier. Your fingers kind of get messy. And so just make sure the whole thing is coated. And once it is, it's going back into the flour. Spoon the flour back over the stick and rub it in a little bit with your fingers uh, so it'll stick a little bit and then shake off any excess. Then back into the egg wash for a nice little dip. Roll it over as carefully as you can. You don't want to break off any of the coating. Then back into that coating one more time. Give it a nice covering, and then you can place this on a plate until we're ready to cook it. I'm gonna place these in the freezer for 20 to 30 minutes. Now it's super important that we get our oil up to at least 350, 360 is good. If you don't, your mozzarella sticks aren't going to turn out very well. They're gonna absorb a lot of oil and you want them nice and crispy. So I'm gonna let this go a little longer. Now that my oil is up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm gonna start dropping a couple of these in. You don't wanna overcrowd your pan I can get three in the pan comfortably and possibly four, but just do what's comfortable for you. These are probably only gonna take about one minute to cook, so just keep a close eye on them and take them out when they turn a nice golden brown. Take your tongs, I'm gonna try and turn these over ever so often, you can see they're starting to get brown, but you want them to be, you know, brown all the way around. Check the temperature every once in a while just to make sure you're at 350 and you can adjust your temperature accordingly. It's been about a minute, so these are just about ready to come out. And you can see how they look nice and golden brown, so this is perfect. Just take it on out, set it on your tray. Here's some cheese is oozed out a little bit, and that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and finish cooking up the rest of the mozzarella sticks, and then we'll show you how we're gonna serve these up. Now I like to use Rayo's homemade marinara sauce to serve with my mozzarella sticks. It's a great compliment and this particular brand has really good ingredients as you can see here. But I still like to doctor it up a little bit, give it a little more extra oomph. And I like to add garlic powder, 
and some basil leaves to this. So I'm using dried basil here, but fresh can work just as well. Give that a stir and let it simmer for about 10 minutes and you're ready to serve. Mozzarella sticks are best served immediately because that's, well, the cheese is nice and melted, right? So if you need to set them out for a while, they're gonna cool off and the cheese is gonna get a little bit hard. So the, probably the best way to serve them is in a steamer of some sort, something to keep them warm as they're being served. Now look how incredibly crunchy these look, and they are. These are nice and crunchy on the outside and the cheese is nice and melty. It would be more so, but they've been sitting for a little bit here, but they are delicious. And the marinara is the perfect complement. Delicious, crunchy, and cheesy. Perfect for your next party. So if you're looking for a nice little chocolate dessert to go with these mozzarella sticks, well, let's try our chocolate brownies. These are incredible. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by smashing the like button and leave me a comment. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.